Bonjour, bitches. So sorry for your loss. Ah, for so much love, like a feather. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We are going out. You know what? These are one of my favorite videos to film because I just think they're absolutely hilarious to watch back. We've been filming these videos since first year uni. And that was my favorite video I've ever filmed with you. The no first word. night out oh my in our new flat. God. We got so drunk, I went to Alcatraz and we filmed it and it was hilarious. And that is the funniest video to look back at. So, we're going on a night out tonight. My uni friend Gareth is up with his boyfriend. So we're all going out together. You would have met Gareth in the in like loads of vlogs. You would have met Gareth, right? Right? Yeah, Gareth is Um, And Gareth's like the funniest person ever. So, I'm so excited to have him visit for the weekend. And we're going out. But first things first is, we need to get ready. For the night of nights, you know you're gonna do it right. I was gonna do my hair first, but I think I'll just start with my makeup because whatever. Let me know if you do hair or makeup first, but I think I'm a makeup first kind of gal. Are you mad? I'm definitely makeup. Makeup first, yeah. and then I hair. I have second. to be up when I'm doing my makeup. Yeah, me too. I have to be up my face, then it just makes it pinky. Let's do. My makeup, so it's currently Saturday night. Basically, Maddie was at home all week last week, so I was in the flat by myself, but it was fine because I was like super busy all week. I don't know if I'm gonna look back and be like, why the hell have you kept this headband on? Like, you look weird. Or it's kind of a vibe because it's keeping all my head back. Do you know what I mean? I actually quite like it. And then it got to Thursday, and I just felt really, really homesick. Like. I felt really homesick at the start of the week. Um, I don't know what came over me. I don't know if it was like period, like hormones mixed with just not being home in like literally over a month. Um, and I never really go that long, like not going home. I've, I've always like, I always nip home. So I think it was just a combo of like both things and Maddie not being here. I think it was just, I just felt really homesick. So it was Thursday night and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna go home tomorrow for the night because I knew I had Gareth coming up on Saturday, so I knew we were gonna go out. So I was like, oh, I'll just go home for one night. And also it's really easy because I could just drive there and the drive's not far. So I nipped home for the night and it was really nice. I got to see Liv. It was taking me more than like two and a half hours to get home recently. Really? Yeah. It took me so quick today. To be fair, it took two hours today, but normally you feel like 100, like 100, like one hour and 40. I know, I don't know what it is. No, I nipped home, saw Liv, went for a nice lunch with mum, saw dad. Dad opened a new salon in Nottingham called House of Hair so on Friday. So I went to go and see that and it was it's the most beautiful salon I've ever seen. And then I just had like a nice time at home and I've driven back today. And I feel like way more refreshed. I just, I think I just needed that. Like, I just needed that. Sometimes the city girl life, I love it. But sometimes your girl just needs to go home. So I feel ready for the week and like ready for the weekend. Because um, we've not been out in Manchester in a while. Because I've been, well, I've been doing dry jan. I mean, I broke it last weekend because Chintia came up and we had some wines. But we didn't go out out. I just, we literally just went to a restaurant and then like one bar. So we, it wasn't out out. And I'm not, we've not been out out since when? Honestly, I think like November. When did we last go out, out? We're just speaking about it. The last time. December, December, November. That was the end of December, remember? I got a little face <laughs> The last I time so we fun. went out, we went to Monkey House. It was end of December. It was like Christmas vibes. Everyone was, I was in the best mood ever. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. We went to Monkey House and we just took it way too far. Way too far. I literally thought I was never drinking again. Like, what the hell happened to me? I never get sick from a night out anymore. Like, I'm really good. I was sick. I couldn't stand up until 5 p.m. Sunday night. I couldn't stand. I had to crawl to the bathroom because I couldn't stand up. 
I tried to erase it from my mind. It's not okay. I felt so <laughs> we sick. We took it too far. Maddie had a whole shift the next day. It's yeah. not funny. Yeah. So we took it way too far. So that's why we didn't, we've not been out in Manchester. Now we feel like ready. I threw up in my bed and woke up like with sick all down my hair. I left you and Gwen earlier and I was literally, I have to go home. I've never ever felt this drunk in my whole entire life. And I, you know when you're so drunk, I was actually aware. So that's when I knew, like, it's time I go home. It got to the, it got past the point of drunkness to be like, no, like, I'm not okay now. Oh. You're just self-aware, though. Yeah. No, and Maddie how? woke up on the wrong side of the bed, off her, with her head off the bed like this. Literally. On the wrong side. So, so it was bad. just a crazy girl night. And that's why we had to take so some bad. time off. So but bad. we're back. And I'm really excited. My makeup. I'm really organising my makeup at the moment. Look, I've got this contraption and it's nice because it's see-through so I can see everything. Um, I have put a little bit of fake tan on today so I'm going to use my more tan shade. Just want to look a little bit more bronzy tonight. But I don't know what the plan is, like where we're going. I think we're going to go Northern Quarter because... We like to bar hop round there, and it's just so fun. fun. It's just so I am fun. so excited now, like, good. It. Yeah, because we had a little bit of a low moment in the house where Maddie went to sleep, and I was just chilling having dinner. And tea at my, but, like, I'm on my period right now. So I was, like, had a little bit of period pains. But now I feel ready. I told you, like, as soon as we get ready, as soon as Gareth's here with his boyfriend, his name's Alex. So Alex. as soon as, yeah, Gareth and Alex get here, and we've got music on... I feel like we'll be like, yeah. So. No, I just finished my shift and I was like, I'm so tired. It was so busy at work. I was like, like no, hell. seriously. So, we're ready. But yeah, I think Northern Quarter is the plan and we're just going to see where we end up. I remember Gareth said something to me like, oh, I would love to go here again, but I don't actually remember what he said. I thought it was Lost Cat. No, it was somewhere else that I we've never been to that he used to go to when <gasps> he was here. Is. <gasps> Ramona's. Yes. Maybe it was Ramona's. I don't remember, but we're gonna like end up somewhere. Ramona's so. is so hard. I'm really, really excited. Oh no, I feel like everyone's just been paid and it's the mm -hmm. end of dry jan. So I feel like tonight should be really busy and really fun. I wonder what clubs will go at all. I wonder. No, no, no. We don't go to clubs at any do we? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a club night. Have I think this is gonna be more of a bar night. But then like Lost Cat's like a bar club. It's so, so much fun. Like, what kind of music was last time? It's a mixture. It's like a bit of oh, Taylor Swift, Pitbull. but it's like a oh, really good vibe. They have like a clubby bit upstairs where you can like dance on the tables. What did I shit myself? Oh, yeah, the last time we went there was with our other friend Tasha. Why did we go out that night? We went for a Chinese, but like, what was the occasion? This is what I mean. I can't eat and then go out with like alcohol. Mm. I don't, I don't know what the occasion was. I don't know what the occasion was, but... Tasha just came up. I think she just came up to visit. I was obsessed with the idea of going for a Chinese, because we never go for a Chinese. We never have Chinese when we're in Manchester for some weird mm. reason. So we oh, went for I a Chinese. Chinese um, on Thursday night. Oh, I'm so jealous. Yeah. So jealous. I haven't got my chicken. I want one. Um, so we went for a Chinese, and then we thought it'd be a really good idea to go on a night out and like go to some bars after eating a massive Chinese. Like, oh my I'm god, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. So we went out for a big Chinese, then we thought it'd be a good idea to go out for a couple of, you lost your for some drinks. Well. I left my vlog camera in the Uber, so like I was stressing all night about that, I couldn't vlog. And then we got to the bar, we were literally having so much fun, weren't we? Mm. We were dancing on the tables, the music was banging, and then all of a sudden Maddie's like, I've got to go, I've got to go. And I was like, what? She's like, do you want to tell the story? I literally thought I was going to shit myself. It was just a mixture of everything. I think it was a mixture of the big Chinese and alcohol. Yeah. It just wasn't It wasn't working in Maddie's stomach. Mm -hmm. So, Maddie I, thought... I threw up as well. Like, it was just not a good day for me over here. All of us, one second you were dancing on the table, and then the other second we had to run to the toilet. And then we, had, we went. So, we're excited to go back and enjoy it in all its glory really i don't know what we're gonna wear tonight i don't know what the vibe's like do you i don't know because i've not really bought like yeah. i don't really have like dressy up clothes i have like well we're not it's not dressy up because no. we're not like clubbing I'm like a <laughs> oh my God, go i mean it's only northern quarter yeah. my favorite thing about manchester is you can like so dress down but also really dress up and tonight's gonna be one of those nights where we're like more dressing down 
comfy more on vibe but it's still cute do you know what i mean so i think i'll just put boots on um and some form of top i don't know i really don't know but yeah we're going for more of a casual vibe tonight not a heel in sight because i wore heels last week to dinner on my feet oh my god by the end of it i just had to go home just kills my vibe but if i'm in cowgirl boots and I'm agile, and I can feel like I can run around the clubs. I, I had the best night ever. So long. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I, know, right. It's I feel like I'm, summer. But I'm gonna crack them out. It's summer when we go Ibiza. Yeah. I think. But I feel like January is more for like my big biker boots sort of thing. I love my biker boots. I'm gonna put a curl through my hair tonight. So I'm excited. What are you doing with your hair? I don't know. <gasps> you know what I really wanted to try? What? Obviously, I've been watching Love Island. Uh, and it's really good. I'm getting into it. I feel like the clips on TikTok are just the best part of the show, though. And I feel like the rest of the show is a bit boring. Um, but I'm getting into it because, obviously, we've finished Traitors. So I feel like I've had to replace that with Love Island. And I don't mind it. I'm not complaining. But Georgia Steele and Molly always wear half up, half down. And it looks so good. Like, the slick part here she like slicks it back how do they do that i don't know how she does it but it looks amazing so i'm like i really want to try it one but then number two is that an, a bad idea because one i've never tried it before and two like i want to look cute tonight so should i just stick with a hairstyle that i know and then when i've got a bit more time experiment with the new hairstyle i think that's a good idea. do you think that's a good idea yeah because imagine if i did it and then i end up hating it and then i was like oh i've got to go out yeah i think that's a good idea okay on the safe side yeah, we're gonna play it safe tonight. So Maddie's getting ready on the floor because my favorite case. And she has her makeup on the floor, so I don't want people to be like, "Oh my god, you're not letting Maddie sit on your desk." I'm like, I will, but like, Maddie's got all her makeup on the floor, and she's just a makeup for floor girlie. I literally in my bedroom is literally a mirror and then my makeup on the floor. So, so that's why Maddie sat down there. Can you go bronzer? Do you know what I've lost? Yeah. My Chanel bronzer. Um, that is actually it. that is it's really sad. Yeah, do you just yeah. want to do you want a matte bronzer? You can use this makeup by Mario one. That's the best oh, one. I wonder. Okay, I'm using the Refi cream bronzer. Do you want to borrow a bit of this? This is cream. Yeah, I just put some cream on now. Hula. Yeah, look. You can just. I just like carve my face. Like yeah, this. maybe I'll use that after you. Yeah, look, do you want to borrow this little brush as well? Yeah, please. I don't know what brush, what brush is this? Oh, the Kylie Cosmetics concealer brush. I like this for contour because it's thinner. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Put some on my nose. I wonder, I want to like actually try and do something with my eyes tonight. I, I do have false eyelashes. I might put them on. But then also we're not going full glam because it's more cash. So I'm like conflicted with the mis with the eyelashes do you know what i mean because i feel like mm. that's like for a more glam moment mm. here you go i'll see what the finished look is looking like i feel like if i need to elevate it i'll add them but anyway what's new with you mads because you're not you weren't in the last video because obviously you were doing an essay so oh my god i was everyone's missed the you we <laughs> it was hell <laughs> I don't want to do a masters anymore. Um, it's so ridiculously hard. I feel like we underestimated how hard it was gonna be. Yeah, be. I feel like we thought it was gonna be like an undergrad, undergrad. Yeah. and like you know when those essays that you can just knock out in three days, and you're like, no. oh, it's fine, like yeah. I can do that. No, no, <laughs> no, no. I had tears in my eyes every time someone like asked me how I was doing because this has taken up my whole life. <laughs> and I've been a hermit for the past week and a half. This is my going out party tonight. This is why I'm so excited this because this party. is our celebration of Maddie handing in her first... 6, 000, no, I had 6,000 words and I had a 3,000 word essay due the same week. So this is Maddie's celebration. So yeah, that's currently what's been happening in Maddie's life. Yeah. That's why she's been a bit MIA from the last vlog. Um, I've had to go see my tutor every single night. Literally. Um... But we're happy. We've got a happy household. It's now Feb. So what are your like goals for Feb, do you think? Did you feel like you did everything in January that you wanted to do? I'm not going to lie. I have been having the worst month. <laughs> I'm just being realistic, yeah? I have had the worst... She's being real on the I'm channel. Being real. I've had the worst month. I have. Oh, I have. Why, what's happening now? Uh, my car, A. Oh, yeah. So Maddie was supposed to drive up. Thursday night, mm -hmm. right? 
and she packed a bag and she was literally on the road. She was like, okay, I'm gonna stop at some petrol. Oh, you, will you tell the story, you tell the story. The petrol nozzle that you like take off and then unclip mm. it and then put the petrol in. In the car, so the petrol cap on the Obviously, car. Obviously I was feeling really angry and stressed out and frustrated from, you know, my work that I, did, mm. that I was doing. I don't know, I had a Hulk moment. I grabbed it off, it's literally <laughs> flown off to the other side. I don't know why it wouldn't open, it was like jammed in. So I couldn't put any petrol in, so I had to go home. And then yeah, I so the petrol more. thing was jammed shut, so she couldn't even drive back when she wanted to. But think what happened then, because imagine if I was like down the road. Well, more. this is why I was grateful. Like, imagine yeah. if you were on mid motorway and you yeah. only had a couple miles left, exactly. then I would be panicking. Definitely panicking. January's a tr been a trying month been a trying yeah. month but i feel like feb you're ready to thrive right i'm really excited for feb actually really really excited for feb i think good things are gonna happen in feb i feel like january's just been a warm-up mm -hmm. i feel like january is always a warm-up because it's so long um but i'm really optimistic for feb and i'm really really excited i feel like the evenings have started to get lighter as well i was driving back today and it was like maybe like 20 past five and it wasn't pitch black i could still see the sky i could still see the birds so i was like oh my god like lighter days are coming guys so i feel really happy for this month i'm really excited to I'm so excited to get going mm. and we've got some fun things planned for this month actually maybe i'll run you through so it much fun. it's gonna be so busy so obviously this weekend we're out with with gareth Next weekend, we're both in London. Uh, I'm going to go down and see Chin and Liv, and we're going out. Then the weekend after, we're going down again. I don't know why I'm doing back-to-back -back weekends. I don't I know how that's know. come about. Um, but we're going down again to London because we've got some yeah. shit down there that we need to do. So we've got back-to-back -back weekends in London, which I'm really excited for. Mm -hmm. That's why we're like trying to savour this weekend because this yeah, is our only sure. weekend in Manchester, really. And then the weekend after, we're at home because we've got a party. Woo! Woo! So this is actually our only weekend we're gonna be in Manchester in Feb, which actually feels, oh. I don't know, how weird is that to say? How weird? Really weird. So we're trying to savour it and make the most of it. So I'm really excited. But yeah, Feb should be a busy month and March should be even busier because we're going to see <gasps> No, we're going to see Pretty Woman in Feb! And Lyle! Oh, no, that's in March. March. But we're going to see Pretty Woman on the theatre. Ah, which was my uh, Christmas present to Mad. So, Such a good day. I'm so excited because Pretty Woman is one of my favourite films ever. Love that. Was just, and it's so good in the theatre as well. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Pretty Woman, walking down the street, Pretty Woman. Was that already a song? Or is that a song made for the film? That is a really good question that I need to find the answer to. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Did they base the film off that song? Or did that song no. come about? Did the, the song come about because of the film? Pretty woman. I think Walking it's the down the street. Audience. We're gonna have to Google that. Let me Google that, because that's gonna actually annoy me. What time is it? Oh my God, it's five past eight. He's supposed to be coming in 25 minutes. So I need to get a you? fucking move on. It's fine. It'll be fine. Oh god, I actually need to get a move on. We've been chatting. Mm -hmm. I didn't think okay, was was Pretty Woman I need to be quick now. Was Pretty Woman the song before the movie? I'll put something like that. Oh Pretty Woman is a song Are you recorded. The camera out? Yes. Is Pretty Woman based on the song? Oh, the the film is based on the song Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison. Based on the the film is based on the song which came out in what? 1964. What a slay. What a slay, guys. No, Pretty no. Woman. This is my new favorite blonde bronzer. It's the Milani baked bronzer in 05 Soleil. And it's got like gold in it and it's just oh my so God. beautiful. If I was to be in any um movie I don't actually know. I don't actually know. I'd always say like friends. I don't yeah, really know. Who's who's really happy in a film and no, has like a really so nice many. life? Why are we like forgetting all our favourite movies? Who has like a really nice life? I don't, who do I want to be? I don't really know. If, no, but like if you were to play any character, like a really funny oh, character. I, no, oh, not actually like, to be how them. how funny is Hayley Dunphy in Modern Family? Wait, to be a yeah, character like, for be, forever, not to play them, not, just to physically be them? No, to play them. Oh, to play to them. Like, oh. Hayley Dunphy is so funny. Yeah, I think I would just like to be in Friends. I would think you? Friends would just be like my bag. Oh, 
like Monica, maybe Monica. Oh, like, what well, I think Friends is just like, oh, it's like how classic and iconic is Friends? So good. Actually, just fucking speed up this makeup. Pretty woman. Oh, well, I, can, I can't stop singing that song now. Oh my god, I need, to, I need to hurry up, girl. I'm getting stressed. I'm getting so stressed. We've just been taking our time. We're happy, breezy. I've been thinking that we even got plans, girl. I know. What are we talking about? I don't know what we're doing. I need to do my hair as well. You got what? Jesus Christ, I need to do my hair, but it's fine. This is my favorite palette of all time. It's the Hourglass Ambient palette, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Put some highlighter on. My makeup's not as full beat as I'd usually go for, but well, if we're going for a more casual night, then it's fine. Does it need to be full, full beat? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Look at that highlighter on my top lip, man. In the camera. <laughs> Whoa. She went overboard. Happened with you? Has anything happened to me with you? I don't know. We're, we're saying this because we've literally not seen each other in a week. I know. And like, we literally never text each other because obviously we live together. Oh we've been God. texting so much because we've not been together. And I'm like, it feels weird to text you so often. Because usually I'm just like, I'm home in five, and you're like, cool. Or like, what do you want for dinner? Like, usually we don't text. Mm -hmm. But I saw a TikTok the other day, and it's like, living with your friends in your 20s. It's like being in a married couple. It, no, it is. Like, it's like, what we're having for dinner tonight? What time are you going to be home? Like, it's literally like being married. But also, I find it strange. You know how some roommates, like, roommates, roomies, they don't cook for each other. Or like, they don't have dinners together. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes me sad. That makes me really sad. God, I got, got a hunch back then. No, I was like <laughs> this. Yeah, we like cooking together. It, I feel like it's therapeutic. Yeah. And we like sharing meal times. Yeah, we do. I feel like that's a nice special time for us. I've not been cooking as many dinners, so I'm going to be back on my cooking shit. Like the other night, I made chicken and like egg fried rice. It was so good. Oh and I miss. I fucking out poked myself in the eyes. Are you alright? <laughs> so aggressively. Are you alright? Yeah. We're going to be back on our HelloFresh bag. Oh my god, I think Because HelloFresh has a special place in my heart. Yeah. Um, and that's where I got that cream and courgette and prawn pasta recipe from, from HelloFresh. Because I picked it on like a week, I picked it like a random week. And then the recipe was just so easy and delicious, we just kept making it. So I feel like we're going to be back on our HelloFresh shit because I love HelloFresh. Do I put gold in my eyes or shall I allow it? Or should I just do a small I've got a little one in my corner. What? Of glitter? Of glitter. What colour glitter? Um, gold. I like a wig if I'm going out because it just makes me look a little bit more dramatic because I literally just do my everyday makeup for night out as well. So I'm like, oh, I just need to my like... My makeup doesn't really change. My makeup doesn't change either. So I'm like, I need to like add something to look, make it look like I'm going out. What are your feelings on having a roast tomorrow? I mean, it depends because I can't stomach. When I'm hungover, I can't stomach. Yeah, that's the difference between me and Maddie. When Maddie's hungover, she can't eat. But, like, I can eat when I'm hungover. Like, if I don't eat, I feel sick. Unless it was that one time I went to Monkey House, I couldn't eat all day. I had to work. I don't know how I even, like, did that. I don't know how you did then it. I drive back and then drive to St. Ives the next morning for six hours. Maddie woke up. What time did you wake up in the morning? Nine. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. I don't know how you did that. I would have had a golden sick, like, I'm not gonna lie. I would have like been out for the count. But they all knew I was out, so I like, yeah. gotta just do it. Yeah. But then remember, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go too crazy. Like, I'm just gonna come out with the girls. Like, I'm just gonna come Maddie out. Maddie literally said she's gonna have a couple and go home at one. What time did you go home? 2.30. But 2.30 and we were obliterated. I didn't get home till four. I had to listen to music when they had like rain music to get me to sleep. <laughs> But then, like, I was so drunk. Oh my god, can't. It was a myth that it night, basically. Myth. But we're ready. I feel recovered enough. That's why I couldn't go out all of Christmas, you know, because I was actually scarred from that night. Oh out. my god, I feel like I was still recovering. And like, I was glad. Basically, Vlogmas had just ended as well, so I was on a high. If I was still doing Vlogmas when I went on that night out, okay. I would have had to miss two days because I was not functional. I was not functional. I remember coming home and saying, oh, I can't even drink alcohol. Like, I literally uh -uh. couldn't Okay, I'm liking my eye. I've just put a little bit of a wing. And I don't think I'll put lashes on because... 
the Kailash mascara. This is my go-to mascara. If you watch my like vlogs when I do my makeup, I'm always banging along about this mascara. But it's literally my ride or die, and it makes my lashes so long that like I feel like I don't need the falsies. Really nice. Okay, I'm almost ready. Same. Okay, oh but it's just hair and outfit that we need to like prep. Oh. But it's fine because Gareth and uh, Alex can be here when we're prepping that. That's fine. We can start having a little bit of wine. Uh, and then my new lip liner that I've been loving, which I got sent to in PR, is the Kylie Cosmetics one. That Honestly, what all about. yeah, it's such a pretty colour. And I put what I put on the outside. I put cinnamon on the outside, which is a bit darker, and then I fill it in with satin. And I love these because it's like a pencil, like something that you'd like oh, use you in art. TikTok hack. Put your lip liners in the fridge and then <gasps> sharpen them afterwards well what happens to them it's like makes them like more sharp and like a lot more like, not smudgy because you know how sometimes it can be really smudgy yeah oh my like, god yeah let's do it i love it but it's so smudgy it is a bit smudgy mm -hmm. these are beautiful absolutely beautiful so let's hope i just don't lose it on this night out because then i'll be <laughs> devastated I think if I wasn't going out, I'd just use satin on its own, but... Do you have any um, eyelash colours? I don't want to put mine. Um, yeah, ask God. Do you? Yes. <gasps> Thank you. It's like a really, really nice nude lip. So I'm going to take those out with me because... No, maybe I won't take the dark one because you know when... You know what I'm like when I'm drunk? I'm like... <sighs> so maybe I'll just take satin out. Um... And a lip gloss with me. Was that me? Was it like a dark club? And I was like, does any of my lip liners I can't buy my own bag? Liz was like, yeah, have mine, have mine. I've like literally putting it all over my lips. It was literally like black on my lips. I literally. <laughs> I think it must have been one of Liv's like really dark brown ones. It must have I been. I look scary. Like, I looked. <laughs> like, it came up like a Kravis music video. <laughs> that like, is why we always bring the lighter. Oh. Lip liner when we go out because. Oh my god. <gasps> I just got a text. Tiki bar is still open. <laughs> Who told you this? Who told you this? Undisclosed name. Oh! But basically, our favourite bar is in Cane and Grain in Northern Quarter and it's the top floor. It's insane. It's like a tiki bar style and it's like really nice. It's like small in there. So it's not too big. The music is so good. No, but basically, we found out it's only good now after 11, isn't it? Yeah. But it's just such a good vibe. It's like club but still bar vibe. It's just, oh my God, we have the best nights in tiki bar. Mm -hmm. And something came out on like EMCR. Something came out on EMCR around Christmas saying that this bar was going to be closed down. And we were devo, like me, Maddie and Gwen were so sad. Because we found that by chance and it what? was just like insane. How the hell did we even find that? Because I googled, because I was in Northern Quarter and I was like, no, I needed some R&B. I googled best R&B bars in, um, in Northern Quarter and that was at the top of the list. Shut so up. we went and we had the best night ever. And basically, yeah, talking really fast because basically we thought it closed down. And I just got a text saying it's not closed down. That means we can go there then, right? Yeah, so we'll go for some that. drinks somewhere else, go there, and then maybe get Ramona's. Right, let me quickly do my hair, and then Gareth should be here. So I'll check back in when we get an outfit on, because we've got about 10 minutes until he's going to be here. So then, if my hair and makeup's ready, then all I have to do is pick an outfit. I look like one of those deers or something with two antlers on their head. But basically I got rollers for Christmas and I only got really big ones. I need some smaller ones for the front pieces. Um, but I've kind of rushed doing my hair. Because Gareth's on his way and I need to get a fucking move on. But this is what I currently look like. This was the setup. You were like on this. But it's currently quarter to nine and Gareth is still not here. So... Kind of a slave for us because then we don't know what we're gonna wear. We don't know what I'm wearing. I have an idea in my head, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull it off. Like I feel like I have like a little skirt with like a big top and boots, and like in my head it looks so nice. But I feel like in reality I'm gonna be like, no. So I'm gonna try the outfit on first. I need to plug my phone in and see if I like it, and I'll report back. But this hair, I'm gonna get so many comments like, "That's not how you do rollers." I'm like. 
yeah i know i'm so bad at doing my hair but we'll see if it does something <laughs> whoa fill it up girl she's got the boots on she's ready <laughs> Let me do a little pan of you. Your feet look so funny right now. <coughs> That's just what I do. I'll do a little pan of you. Beautiful. I'll do a little <laughs> pan of Gary. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Cheers. Where's Alex gone? Hi. Party! Party. Right, this is what I'm wearing. I'm not even showing them yet. Technically, this is a lingerie oh, set. <laughs> and I'm wearing it out because... Why not? But I don't think it looks like lingerie because I've got boots and a leather jacket on. Yeah, so it just looks like a cute little black dress. Yeah. Gareth and Alex have just got here. Hi vlog. Hey vlog. Hi. And this is my drink of choice. We've all got different drinks. Oh no, you two have got oh, the same. Yeah, that one. Basically, every time Gareth comes to mind, he's like, what do you want me to bring? And I always say White Claw. <laughs> and this is the first time I've actually managed to find White Claw. And every time he takes me, like, there's no White Claw. But I promise I'll get you something else. How obviously just hate White Claw. And then he came in and he said, I got you White Claws. And I was like, no fucking way. Uh -huh. I was like, I love these bitches. So, uh -huh. oh my God. Have you seen that TikTok? I was like, I have five of these little blonde bitches. That is yeah. how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> this is how I feel about white clothes. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm very happy right now. You what are you drinking tonight, Alex? I'm drinking white wine. We've had some rosé, but now we're on the wine. Now we're on the white wine. Mm -hmm. like you two are, you yeah. two are wines, I'm and then what you've got? Tonight. I'm on the Henry Weston's. Oh! He's so sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that beer before. Is it beer or cider? Get with it, babe. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. But it's like. I feel like I've not blended. Let's get some niche tunes on, so you can have it on in the background. I feel like I've not blended my makeup into my hairline, and I've got like a white line where I've not put bronzer there. Can you not? Because I just caught a reflection in the vlog, and I was like, "What the hell?" Anyway, so tonight. Um, I forgot that Gareth said something to me that he wanted to go to and I literally forgot. But we're going to Funkademia, which I've never been to before. Apparently Maddie's been. It is so lit down there. And I've yeah. never been, so yeah. we've all bought a ticket. So I'm excited. And I'm excited to go somewhere new and actually experience something new. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to go to Cane and Grain or Lost Cat before. We're going now? I don't mind. I think let everyone finish their drinks yeah, and then we'll go. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. 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 I'm like, we're swapping items of clothing with someone in the room. Whoa! Guys, take it! Whoa! Like, I, I wanted to show my boobs, but like, I just come on the table with my towel. I've got a leg tan on. Balls. I've got tan on. No it's not guys. the vibe. Okay, we're playing the girls' bathroom game because I always crack this out when I've got gas. I'm good. I've got sweat patches on my jacket already. Oh, no! no. Think it, girl. You haven't even been walking we around yet. Even... You've been you've been sweating. It is sat. hot in here. Crack a window. It's hot in here. Crack a window. Why are you doing something? That is not right. <laughs> I don't know You'll be all right. Just just no, to, leave it off for it's a fine. sec. It's not fun. That was it. It's not fun. That was it. Not really. Not really. <laughs> I don't like that one. It's fine. Okay, it's I'm fine. gonna pick. I'm gonna pick a. Yeah, it's toasty. Are you all right? Okay. It's toasty. If you're Oh, I don't like that one. Chinsy, I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't like half of your cards. <laughs> sorry, like, I'm actually sorry. Oh, oh, if you've dated, no, no one has though. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. If, if you've dated, oh, no. if you've dated someone when they've been in a relationship, drink. And what then, are you doing? Oh, what? Yeah. Who? Oh, I can't oh. even say that one. I can't even say that one. Why? If you're hoping no, to run into your ex one. tonight, drink. Oh, Everyone's what? wiped up. Even you? What? I'm not my ex in it here, girl. <laughs> oh, if you've had sex with more people than on this table, drink. Can we go get another one? Pick a card. Oh. Uh. Go on. Um. Oh. <laughs> so it says most likely to be a millionaire. Drink. Ooh. Um, I think Gareth. I, I think, think Maddie. Gareth's got a big time yeah. job. Oh. Okay, Maddie, drink. Let me halfway there. <laughs> Alex, I know. It's your go. Oh. You'll pick one. <laughs> Make up your own dare for the person opposite. But <laughs> that's Maddie. It's, yeah, that's Maddie because. It's Maddie. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't want to make up a dare. <laughs> well, you don't. <laughs> No, I'm joking. 
Twerk. Um, um, <laughs> do ten press ups. Gosh, I'm sweating. <laughs> She's already done the press up, according to the jacket. Dads yeah. are tricky. Cheers, yeah, yours is just it's not saying right now. <laughs> if you haven't had sex this month, drink. Oh, it's technically January, February. It's February 3rd, isn't it? Yeah. I've not had sex this month. Drink! I've not had sex. Oh, this month. I'll drink then. I'll drink down here. You still have drink. I was so shook, yeah. I dropped the <laughs> Oh, bearing in mind, I don't think we told the vlog this, but these two are in a couple. You are in a relationship, that's why. We're in a couple. In a couple. We're in a couple. We're in a couple. <laughs> right. Your, your turn. Pick one. This one. Most likely to take their heels off in the club. Yeah. What are you discussing in the corner? Nothing, I'm just going to do one. Um... I think that's you. Yeah, she would go around. Get your club. dogs out, girl. Careful, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if I were a person that wore heels, I would absolutely yeah. say, oh. so I'm not that's judging. Why it's anyway. happened many a times. Yeah, it yeah, has. And it's, you should see my feet on the way home. Can yeah. I do mine? Yeah, go on then. Not over your ex? Drink. I'm not drinking. That drink is not touching my lips. No, it's not. <laughs> touching some no, lips. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh, it's going into you tonight. <laughs> no zero. We're on our way. Oh, I thought it was fresh. <laughs> oh, you're going in the boot? I'm not going in the boot. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, can you know I'm going by myself? I'm not going Stick in the, the boot. Stick Stick in the boot. Hey guys. <laughs> We're going in. Bye guys. <laughs> it was nice knowing you guys. Lock her in the boot. Lock her in the boot. Hey, She's queen. not with us. <laughs> You can't sit with us. We you don't want to sit with us. Wait, who's where? And um, we're going to Tiki Bar, which I mentioned previously in the vlog. It's our favorite bar, and it's one not being closed down. So you excited? Very excited. We're both excited. Mood for Tiki. Oh, I'm so excited. Out of ten. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Shut up! You're in the middle. <laughs> There's no clips after we left the bathroom at Funkademia because it was actually so much fun. But I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. The next vlog will be out on Monday because um, I'm going to London this weekend. So that'll be a fun vlog. So I hope you all enjoyed and I love you so much and I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, it's okay.